week off and getting ready to play Hawthorne on Sunday? Yeah, definitely. It's been a great. Um, we had four days off, sort of great week. Um, boys went away and boys got to see their family and stuff like that. So um, we've had a good week on the track and we're ready to go. Obviously, a massive trip to China. Got the four points. It sort of feel like you guys are ready now to pack the second half. The second. Yeah, definitely. It's, it, was, it was a great trip for us to build our team camaraderie and um, had a good win over there, which is really important for you know the context of our season, how close the season is. And um, yeah, it was good. Now, how have you seen your form so far this season? This season? Uh, not. A little bit fluctuating, but um, I'm sort of just playing different roles in the side, and I'm just happy doing that at the moment. And um, I think we're in a good position. We're six and three, and the competition's so close at the moment. And um, I'm just happy to play wherever you know Kenny wants me to play. And, and if I can help us win, then I'll do that. Well, tell me about that goal. I mean, did that make you sort of feel like you were really ingrained in where it landed in? When you... Yeah, definitely. I mean, it was it was a it was a good one to get for the club. Um, having lost the last few to them, and um, you just seen it in the fans how loud they were and how much we really wanted it, especially as a team as well. And how it could set up our season, and it was great to get that win. Was the period of adjustment with coming across more difficult than you thought it would be, or uh, coming from Geelong to yeah. here? Um, no, nah, it's been been really easy for me. Um, I'm pretty lucky and fortunate. I've got some family here, so um, it's been you know as smooth as it, as it could be. You said a couple of roles you played, you fluctuated your form. Steve, is there one aspect of the roles you've been asked to play that suits you more than another one? Uh, I like playing forward, and I like playing in the midfield, to be honest. So. Um, it, against different oppositions, I'll, I'll play in different spots, and um, yeah, it sort of changes each, each week by week. So um, mainly forward and on the wing, and hopefully through the midfield. What is it about that that suits you the most? Uh, just so I can play anywhere, um, wherever Kenny, Kenny needs me to play. So I think that's what coaches want in players to be able to play anywhere. Um, we've seen some some guys from this footy club like Hoff who does it every week, and um, you know that's probably what a coach wants. Can that hurt you a little bit? Sorry, Lee. can that hurt you a little bit? Because I mean, you know, if you have a bloke that's a, a true forward or a gun midfielder, you know, you've sort of got to spend time learning other crafts and taking away from your one wood, so to speak. Yeah, oh, definitely. It's as I said, it changes every week for every opposition, and um, I've still got to learn in my game, my inside method, and um, playing in the midfield. You have to do that, and I also have to still spend time time on my craft, um, up forward and kicking goals. So, um, as a footballer, you're, you're a professional footballer. You got to keep working on these things, and um, that's something I try and do every week. So, off field sense of it being a pretty smooth chain of family here in Adelaide. But what about? Oh, it's been for me. It's been great. Kenny's been really, really good. As he's, he's a great coach, so far he's been really supportive, and and just the boys have um, been outstanding. The, the way how hard they train, especially during the preseason, impressed me, and um, I feel like I've fitted in really well. And um, yeah, going go, all good so far. Can you tell us about Hawthorne in Tassie. I think they've lost one out of twenty-four. You know better than anyone how tough they are. Yeah, definitely. I mean, their their form sort of the last three or four weeks they've lost a couple, but they've been right there up until three quarter time against. You know the best opposition, so we know how good they are as a footy club, and I especially know how good they are after playing against against them for a long time. So um, they're going to be a tough opposition, and but I think we're ready for them. So. And it sounds like Ollie's getting closer to re-signing with the club. How important? Can you just tell us from day to day how important he's a player? Yeah, he, I mean he's a real leader um, off the field. He does everything right, and um, he's a great guy. And um, the boys love being around him. And, and on the field, you know, it speaks for itself. He's. He's a, he's a workhorse, so um, he's the kind of guy you want around the footy club and um, definitely we, we want to keep. We saw uh, Broadband do some stuff on the other side of the oval this morning. How far do you think he's off from playing? Uh, I'm not 100% certain, so I probably shouldn't comment. I, I know he's been doing a bit of jogging and building, but um, I'm not sure aware of the um, time frame. And Rennie, Rennie touched on it before about that goal, that last minute. What was going through your head as the ball sort of floated down and certainly 30 seconds to go in the game and then the emotion after yeah, um, I guess as a as a footy player, you want to sort of play in those close games, and um, I'm pretty lucky. I've played in a lot of those close ones, and um, to get another one that close um, was really good and, and special. And um, I was really happy to do it for the boys and kick the goal. I mean, you know, we won the won the ball and took it forward, and um, I was pretty lucky to be in that situation. So I'll, you know, I'll take it. <laughs> what do you think of uh, Kenny's emotion after the game? Yeah, he's a, an emotional guy. I've, I've, Sort of known him for a little bit, and um, he's just a so passionate coach, and um, just loves the club, and wants to see his players do well, and um, wants us to win. So um, that's great. As that's what you want from a coach. Did you have to juggle those roles at Geelong, Steve? Just going back to what you talked about earlier. Yeah, yeah. I've I've always played sort of half forward and wing, so it's um, it's not a problem. Yeah, but you, I mean, when you say you, it's hard to work on each craft, did you find like you being asked to do more at Port Adelaide than you were at Geelong? No, nah, not really. I've, like I said when I first came in here, I just wanted to come in and play my role wherever I needed to. 
um, for the side. I've been in the system for 10 years now and um, I think I'm able to do that, so um, I'll do that every week. But players like used to those extra demands and how do you reckon that sort of changed in your 10 years you've been at the footy or in, in elite footy? Oh, I guess, um, you know, rules in the games are rotations and things like that. The game's just developed and, um, you know, players are developing and um, able to play in different positions and everyone's fitter and faster and, um, yeah, the game's just developing. Have you played Hawthorne in uh, Tassie before? I played a NAB Cup game against them, yeah, down there. So I've heard it's pretty cold, um, similar to Geelong weather, so I should be all right. What about the comment on a youth nursery, Stephen? Yeah, it's great. Um, it's great for us to us as players to be able to play in, in this round and... Um, yeah, it's, it's just fantastic for the AFL to highlight that. And but the footy club as well, I think, talks to the most kids and players, obviously, since Ham, I think, at the moment. So it's pretty... Yeah, there's a... There is a big history and um, definitely the programs that, that we're running here as well um, in all the schools and, and things like that. Um, it's, it's great for me to be a part of. It's something that I love doing, working with, you know, Indigenous kids in the community and things like that. So um, we've got, you know, the 10 players who love doing it as well. So um, it's going good. Was there an Indigenous part of your model you game on as a kid growing up? Uh, I was, yeah, I, was, I watched. I always grew up um, supporting Port Adelaide because my brother Daniel played here and um, I love the Burgoyne brothers, so um, I got to know them really well th throughout the time that he, he was here with them. What was it about? Uh, just, they just had a bit of flair, I think. <laughs> Took the game on and, and, yeah, they were just brilliant players. Is that, is that lacking a bit in modern footy, do you think, with all the structure and all that? Oh, not really. Like I said, the, the game's, you know, developed and the players have to develop as well. So we still see players, some great players, you know, Rioli, Franklin and these guys that the, the crowd love watching and um, even I love sitting back and watch, you know, even young Willie Rioli at the moment, he's playing some great footy and, um, you know, you get to watch Wingard and, you know, big Paddy Wright as a ruckman, you know, running around, he plays like he's a midfielder. So, um, yeah, it's great to sit back and watch. What about Sean Burgoyne? He's just, what's he, 34, 35 now, still playing some great footy? Yeah, he just keeps going, doesn't he? Um, He's just a great player. Everyone knows how good he is in the contest and he's a clutch player, so...